Any of you who have used flexible solar panels that you need to set out and babysit while your battery is charging, it complicates your life in ways that gets really irritating after a while. So I decided to pull the trigger and put a panel on my roof. I get that this installation method might give some of you the heebie-jeebies, but it's not going anywhere. I would definitely recommend having at least one other person helping you during the process, but otherwise I found it very easy because I just helped somebody else do it the week before, and it just takes probably a couple hours at the most, depending on how quickly you go through the steps. I do notice a bit of wind noise towards the back of my rig when I'm going above, I don't know, 50, 55, but it's definitely manageable and well worth the payoff of having constant power at my fingertips as long as it's sunny. And even though it's winter right now and the sun is further away, tilted away, um, I don't have any problems staying topped up. Now this solution works for me because this is just a 100 watt panel and I don't use devices that suck a lot of energy. I just charge my cell phones and my tablet and a few other smaller devices that I use on occasion. So if you're wanting to use an Instapot with just this panel, that's not going to work. Just from driving around this morning, my battery is getting back up to 100% and this is after charging two cell phones and a tablet. I still get 43 watts coming in because it's topping off. Um, that's something to get used to when you have a solar battery that it slows down as you get towards the end of your charging. I did a previous video where I was very detailed about the devices that I use and how many watts they pull when they're active. So that can give you an idea if you're just starting out what you'll need based on what you think you'll be using. As with anything else in Nomad Life, you've got to do your own research, punch the numbers about what you think you'll be using, and know how big a battery you'll need and how much of solar panel input that you'll need. I got the idea for upgrading my solar panel system from helping my friend Adriana from Many Roads No Rules do the same thing with hers. I purchased a 100 watt solar panel that came with Z brackets at Santan Solar and an additional length of extension cord. I used leftover VHB tape and Eternabond tape from Adriana's project. I decided to position the panel, I guess, lengthwise. It's not centered, but I don't see how that matters. And I've marked where I need to clean before the tape goes on. Before we do that, we're going to connect here. Click. Click. This is the special Jackery adapter to connect to the extension cord that attaches to the solar panel. So we're going to make sure that this all talks to each other. This goes here. Click. Oh, 59 watts coming in. It's working. So I've cleaned the area where the brackets are hitting. Very high, high bond. bond tape to VHB. the bracket. And now I'm going to take off the other side of the tape so it will adhere to the roof. And then on top of that for the waterproof. Eternabond. Eternabond. It's going to be eternally bonded. Eternally bonded. So here we go. <laughs> Tapes. Okay, that's one side. 
Okay. And how are you going to drive with that water on top of the roof? I'm not gonna. I'm supposed to stay put for two or three days. So I already went to the grocery store this morning <coughs> with that in mind. And now I'm covering this up with the, the turn bond for the waterproof aspect. Rub, 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 rub to cover as much as you can. Ooh, I did that good. So the solar panel is on, the tape is all down. We've got water for weight to give additional ooh, so it sticks for sure. Uh, now I'm cleaning the surface where I'm going to tape down the cords as it goes into the back. Um, so I'm just cleaning this off. Why? Why now? Go away. We have a saying in Spanish, más vale que sobre no que falte. Translation? You better have an excess and not a... Deficit. Deficit. Excess. We say, measure twice, cut once. But yeah, but that is for precision. We just, <laughs> we, are, we are Latinos, we just exaggerate. We just... And there you have it. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Again, I know that some people would never ever do this to their vehicles because of the tape and I get that. Um, don't bother talking about it. Look for links and other information in the description and we'll see you next time. Probably talking about Mexico. Hike your own hike. Nomad your own nomad. Experiment with the options of this unique lifestyle so you know what works for you and get out there and do it.